Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are going back to the Longchamp outlet but this time to look at the entire Amazon collection. And after showing you the entire Amazon collection from the Longchamp outlet, I want you to guess in the comment section below which one you think I took home with me. Girl, what is going that? on? What is going on in your head? Tell your sisters. But before we hop into today's special Longchamp outlet shop with me for the Amazon collection, if you guys love Longchamp outlets, luxury, hauls, handbags, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoy today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that pesky <coughs> YouTube Al go rhythm. What? Um, ciao. To start off this shopping trip at the Longchamp outlet, we're going to be looking at the Amazon collection bags that are currently on its walls. And then afterwards, we will be looking at the Amazons that are in the drawers underneath these ones. There are going to be tons of different styles, and I mean tons. Beware, you might fall in love with multiple pieces, as I have. <laughs> got the snake print and the suede. You got the quilts with rivets. I really like all three of those. Those three are all really nice, and all three were limited edition. First one we're going to manhandle, though is the small Amazon crossbody, which is still really nice. And it's not bad bang for buck wise. The leather, the stitching, the everything is just so immaculately done that the $495 price tag is honestly not that bad of a deal at all. If you're asking me personally. I love how it has the braiding on the sides and such. Like, there's a lot that goes into this bag, and I really, really enjoy it. It's very soft. It's scratch-resistant by the feels of it, but it's also very supple. Nice and squishy, and it just feels like a really nice, well-built handbag. Looking at one of my favorites, not gonna lie... I love the color on this. The color on this is so beautiful. It's beautiful. Y'all know I love my oranges and yellows and fall colors, but like, Miss Thing, that was one of the most stunning colors in the entire collection. Let's be real. <laughs> I just really liked that color. They had orange, they had yellow, they had like a really beautiful burgundy wine color. Looking at one of my favorites here, this one's got like beautiful patent leather, leather fringe. It has some studding on it. It has a lot going on. Snake embossing. I think this one is a lot of fun. And on the inside, it's got like this beautiful, smooth, smooth cowhide leather. Very beautiful. I am in love with this. And all of the medium sizes, which that one is a medium. All of those are mediums. But, like, not these ones here. But those were all $795 Canadian. That is it. That is all. So here we have a limited edition small size. This one's got beautiful rivets. And if you looked, there was like a chain with like leather weaving and it was really cool. So instead of like braided leather, it had like leather and like chaining on it. Very interesting if you're asking me. 
And then we have this one. This one's like a tribal style, if you think, like if you ask me. It's got really soft suede. The colors are really pretty. I love the color blocking that they did for this. And then the little cutouts are leather. So that's a lot of fun. Onto this limited edition medium size. This one's like a navy blue, the iconic navy blue that Longchamp likes to use. And it's in this sickening, immaculate, and I mean immaculate, crackled leather. For crackled leather, it was really soft and it didn't feel like it was going to like chip or peel. It felt like a really nice intact crinkled leather. Because sometimes with, like, crinkled slash crackled leather, it feels like after a few uses, there might be some, like, crinkling or peeling. But with that one, it felt great. And speaking of another favorite, we got the full patent leather. This one, I really liked this one as well. The patent leather was gorgeous. Nice and soft. Get a nice look on the inside. This one was also a limited edition. Now let's open up the drawer. Let's open up these drawers. Look at all of these beautiful, beautiful handbags. I'm telling you, shout out to Sonia, the regional manager, for letting me just have free reign at filming and playing with all of the bags. I am so grateful because these pieces were all so sickening and there is a lot here. There had to have been at least like 30 to 40, maybe maybe even more like different styles in all the sizes and everything. Like this very beautifully like light yellow custard color. That is a very fun color as well. And I love the pewter or like the really dark hardware that it has. It just makes it pop even more. I, I'm telling you, I cannot get enough of this collection. And all the smalls are $495, all the mediums were $795, and the larges were, I I believe they were like closer to like $800, $900, maybe $1,000. I don't know the exact, like the exact price of that one. But even just like these basic black leathers, they're really beautiful as well. Here we got this nice little lilac-y type of gray color. I think it's lilac. It is really pretty as well. All of the bags just felt so gorgeous and soft. Even like these smooth leather ones. I don't like, I really like the smooth leather ones, but I, we all know I'm a quilt. I'm a quilty. I love my quilted bags. I'm the biggest sucker when it comes to a, a beautifully quilted handbag. And all of these are just top notch. And then we got the small black, like the small navy blue crinkled, which I'm telling you might look a little cuter. I'm not, I'm not lying. It might be cuter than the medium size just because it just looks, I don't know about y'all. It just looked a little cuter. Got the beautiful red hue. So many beautiful colors, but let's try this one on. Get a look at my outfit that I was wearing that day. Every single bag I tried on literally matched my outfit because of the shirt I was wearing. So I thought, I thought well that day. I thought well. Then we got the stark white. <laughs> this is like super white, like optic white, if you will. Very, very bright. I could definitely see this one catching some color transfer. You'd have to be careful using this, but girl. Perfect. Looks great with the outfit as well. Let's move on to the beautiful mediums. The stunning, stunning mediums. They got some really funky ones in the medium sizes. Like this purple suede. Purple fringe suede. How often do you see a purple fringe suede handbag? With like navy blue like handles and like 
on the inside it also had navy blue so like it was kind of like a color block but you don't really see the navy blue on the bag itself it is very gorgeous and the suede was so so luxurious pop open this bad puppy girl i i'm i'm just like that bag is just so pretty and like with the like navy blue like contrasting to the purple i actually kind of really like it i just wish that they had like a navy blue suede on the outside somewhere to like match the color contrasting but other than that it is like one of the funnest bags i've ever had to play with these bags were a lot of fun Also matches the outfit quite well, if you ask me. A very fun, fun bag. And a beautiful color, too. Going from fun to funky, we got this, this one. This one is very 70s. It is giving me 70s vibes house down, without a doubt. Teal, navy dark brown extremely long fringe it is just a fun time and then we have the uh, the normal fringe suede bag but in the acid green color i really like so it comes in like this beautiful purple and this beautiful acid green and if i'm not mistaken all of these fringe suede ones are also all a limited edition so at the, with the bags that we're looking at today, we're getting a nice rendition of all the limited edition pieces and just some of the iconic classics. A beautiful, beautiful army green color on the inside of the bag. Beautiful. It just contrasts really nicely with that like really nice acid green, grassy green color. It's really cute. And again, with the suede being really nice and soft, I really like that. Trying to fit all of these back in its place was a little bit of a hassle. Because obviously they're all fringe and like they're all just squishing together. It was like, eh. <laughs> it was a little frustrating. But here we got a smooth leather medium, not too shabby. Very soft leather, very durable as well. You'll have noticed that many of these bags have like little to no imperfections at all. And that's something you can always look to Longchamp for is just superb quality. Though I will say with this one, I I'm a little disappointed that there's not like a leather flap. It's like leather over fabric i would have liked to seen the leather flap inside try on the nice gray to, i think it's light gray or lilac either way it's cute we know i'm colorblind so nobody uh harp on me too hard in the comments there very pretty it almost looks like a dove gray and then this, okay, no, this one's gray. <laughs> I apologize, y'all. I apologize. This one's definitely a dark gray. I love the gray on this, though. Beautiful. And the leather looks so supple. It, it is supple. Like, let's be real here. If you've ever got to feel a nice quilted Longchamp handbag, oh, the detail and, like, the feel and everything is just top top notch if i could have i would have every single one of these because like let's be honest they're all really beautiful and it looks like they have like every color it seems like they have every color you could wish for and who knows they'll probably have more different ones come in in the future and when that happens, I'll be there. <laughs> you know it. I, I do love this really dark chocolate brown color, though. That just looked so chocolatey and beautiful. 
almost like a chocolate pudding, like a really rich chocolate pudding. But moving on to the larges, we got this one, this limited edition extra large. It's kind of like a denim or like a fabric, like a jacquarding fabric. Very interesting pattern as well. I loved how it felt. Like as like a denim fabric bag, it felt really nice. And it also had like really beautiful navy blue leather trimming. Most of the original pricing on these bags are like really high. I believe the original price for like the small crossbody Amazons were like 800 so $795 plus tax Canadian. I believe the larges were like one th no the mediums were like 1195 before tax maybe there is right now and 99 don't believe in you but all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, 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 a hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine hundred ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and ninety-nine, ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and 99, 99, 99 don't believe in you. There can be a hundred people in the room. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's special Lanchon Outlet Shop with me, as this one was a lot of fun because there was so many, and I mean so many different styles within this one handbag collection, and... I got to play with all of them. Shout out to the regional manager at Alonchamp for letting me play around with all of the uh, Amazon bags. It was a lot of fun. Got to talk with her and she let me have free reign over like the whole section of the store. So that was so kind of her to let me do this. And I can't wait to show you guys which bag I decided to take home with me. It is stunning and I can't wait. Let me know your thoughts and please comment below which one you think I took home. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, share with your friends and family, comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had as well, which bag you think I took home with me. As well, you can always support me directly by sending me and my channel a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. Oops. I love you all to the absolute moon and back. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs> uh, I, I think it was good. I, I, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's <laughs> over.